I invited two members of MBA, an advertising agency, to a secret location to propose an unusual task. Those who work in advertising are masters of persuasion. They subtly weave their images and slogans into our daily lives, knowing that we will register so much unconsciously. And then we walk into a supermarket and feel a sense of familiarity with a product we think we've never heard of. Millions of pounds a year are spent on it. It's brilliantly calculated, and we all fall for it. So I thought I'd turn the tables on the advertising experts. Thank you for joining us, gentlemen. Tony, yes? Yes, that's right. And Martin? Yeah. Hi, I'm Darren. Let me get down to explaining exactly what I want you to do. Imagine that I'm opening a chain of stores selling a product, something I have a particular interest in. Your task is to come up with a poster advertising that store. And that poster must include the company name, whatever you decide that may be. It must include a strap line, some sort of slogan, and some kind of logo as well, some kind of visual image. Sure. Now, the idea is you've only got half an hour to do this, so you've got to really work with your first instinct. So at the moment, you've got no idea what you're going to do, correct? Yeah. Excellent. That's I'm also going to give you this. I've had a few design ideas of my own. Okay. I want to leave this untouched. We'll come back to that later. All right? Are there any questions? What's the product? What's the product? Very good question. A mm. uh, passion of mine since I was a toddler. It's a chain of taxidermy stores. Ooh. Let me uh, pop the pussycat on the envelope so it remains untouched. You have half an hour, gentlemen. Okay. Good luck. Right, thanks. Right. Let's go for it. To get it stuffed is a start. Right. Animal hospital. Yeah, the ones who didn't make it. No, that's probably just stupid. To do with wings. Or creatures great and small. Quality that says like nice, positive type of yeah. animals. Animal heaven. Where animals go. Animal where heaven, that's good. Graveyard. Animal yeah. heaven's great. Animal heaven. Where the best animals go to. Loads of clouds with animals on them. Yeah, gates, harps, pearly gates, gates. Bear playing a harp. Yeah. Only the best Zoo. get in. Only the best get into it. Yeah, yeah. Where dead animals go oh. to live. Where the best. best. It's the best place for dead animals. <laughs> <laughs> it's simple. Time up, gentlemen. Okay. I can't wait to see what you've done. Uh, come and show me. Okay. And Tony, before yeah. we do this, can you take the uh, envelope I gave you earlier? Okay. And can you please vouch for us here that no one's been anywhere near it. He's been under a dead cat. No one's touched it. That's, That's right. That's the truth. That's the truth. That's the truth. Keep hold of it. Come around here. Now, before we have a look <clears> at it, just tell me what was it like. We started off thinking about the name. I thought that was the, we thought that was probably yeah. the best thing to the do. Starting point. Sure. And then take it from there. Really, we banged out a lot of ones that were probably completely stupid and then got down to the ones that were slightly stupid mm -hmm. and then we kind of that went back yeah. and forth for a bit and then we kind of got something we liked and developed yeah. it. Can I have a look? Sure. Sure. Is this it? Yeah. That's fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a bear with a liar. So it's animal heaven, the best place for dead animals. And it's obviously, you, you'd see that it was stuffed. How did you come up with the name animal heaven? We had the idea of the pearly gates of heaven being a zoo gate. Zoo gates as the gates of heaven, that's yeah. interesting. I.e. Yeah. sort of all the animals that are dead are in a dead zoo, if you like, in heaven. And then we just kind of thought, well, it's kind of nice, but it's a bit twee. We wanted to make it a bit funkier. And then we mm. thought a hard playing bear just answered the, <laughs> answered the brief. That's fantastic. I do want to show you my own ideas from beforehand. OK. Um, I don't want to touch. Would you open them for me? Sure. And the winner is... I think you'll find this interesting. Okay. Get rid of the envelope. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. All right. Not a million miles away. Let me put this up there. Hang on to that. It's... Yeah. It's a heart playing bear. Yeah. God. You've gone for these angel wings here. Were you thinking of angel wings or bird wings? Yeah. Uh, well, uh, yeah. they were kind of a combination. You do them a lot better than me. These, uh, this was the same thing. I was thinking angel wings there. You've got animal heaven, I've got creature heaven. Yeah. So you're, Where the best, you're a bit off there then. I'm a bit off there. <laughs> oh, okay. Where the best dead animals go. God. Did you put blessed place for dead animals? Oh, yeah. Very similar. I had the idea of a zoo gate on there. It, it was hard to we leave out. We didn't want to overload it. Was, it. it was hard to leave out, but sure. it, just wasn't, it was just a bit too much. Can I see your other, um, the other one you were talking yeah, about? Put it right? yeah, down. yeah, it's just before there. Is yeah. it very different? Well, well it's just, just the gates. Yeah. Oh, gentlemen, please. Yeah, we're drawing quite similar. <laughs> Look at that. This, this was the image I was thinking. I've done it there in the background because this to me was the more striking image. And interestingly, you abandoned this for this one. This was yeah. obviously well, clear the first, in your mind. The first bear I drew looks exactly like that one. 
actually. It did, yeah. The first bear you drew. Yeah, just show you on the, on the nose. Show me, like that, yeah. show me. What have you got? Well, that, this is scary, really. But, um... Oh, look at that. Yeah. Look at that. You've got the cloud, you've got the blue. If you knew the amount of effort we've gone into making this work, you'd be mm. absolutely flabbergasted. But for now, it's comforting to know that you're just as susceptible to subliminal persuasion as the rest of us. Thank you very much for <laughs> helping you. us out. Tony, Thank you. Martin. It's a pleasure. Take care. Thank Thanks. you very much indeed. Bye -bye. I think I'm quite cynical. When I saw the bear and I saw a cloud, first of all, from, you know, behind the paper, I thought, hang on, he's close here. And then when, when we saw the rest of it, I you know, couldn't believe it. I uh, immediately thought, oh, I'm gutted. Right. <laughs> I could see that it was folded, and I just saw the bear's foot hanging over the cloud with a harp. Yeah. I just thought, oh, I can't believe it. Yeah. You know, uh, it was yeah, good. How to... embarrassing. But now, now I think, oh, fantastic, yeah. you know, I'm over the moon. I, I mean, yeah. I mean, obviously, we're pleased for him, you know. Yeah. But, um, you know. Yeah, he's. It's yeah, as long as, you know, if he comes out of this looking good, then that's, you know, <laughs> that's always the main thing. <laughs> to see how we did it, watch their taxi journey again. I put a spell on you. You better stop the things you do. No. You're freaking me, man. It's so weird. How did you do that? <laughs>